Let's look at another example of how to do simple linear regression. In this example, we're going to try to predict how much time it takes from students it takes for students to get from uh, work to class uh, when there's traffic based on how long it takes to how long it takes them to get from work to class when there's no traffic. So we have two columns of data here. We've got their commute time when there's no traffic which we will use to predict their commute time with traffic. So this is going to be the x variable and this will be our y variable. And the way that we're going to do this is with a scatter plot because it's real simple when we have the x on uh, the left side and the y on the right side. So I'm going to click into the table here. I'm going to go to insert, go to the table section, go to the scatter plot where it's got the dots, choose the first one, and here we've got a scatter plot with a commute with traffic. And let's, uh, let's add some titles to this because we always want axis titles. So I go over to Add Chart Element, Axis Title, Primary Horizontal, and this will be Commute Time with No Traffic. And then we'll also go over to the ver primary vertical article uh, axis, and we will change this to delete that uh, uh, commute time with traffic. Okay, I think that's right. Okay, and uh, let's uh, see the. Uh, uh, the grid lines don't look out of place here, so we can leave them in there. Now let's go to the trend line, and I'm going to choose more trend line options. And it'll suggest a linear trend line. And then let's look at the other options here. We want to display the equation on the chart, and we want to display the R squared value on the chart. And there we have, let's move this so it's a little easier to to read until so we have an equation y equals 0.8379x plus 18.48 and uh, r squared equals 0.4178 so these are uh, um, this is the equation for figuring out uh, the commute time with traffic um, and uh, we notice that looking at this it looks pretty good except there's a few outliers there's a few people that normally live just 15 or 20 minutes away, but it takes them between 50 and 120 minutes to get to school. Now, if you're familiar with Azusa Pacific, these are people that are probably coming from Pasadena during rush hour, and they're stuck in traffic uh, uh, for uh, a long time on the uh, eastbound 210. Normally, it would only take them 15 or 20 minutes, but with the traffic, it can take up to two hours.